So, my sister found you lost and scared on the streets just outside the bookstore where you used to live. Unfortunately, the previous owner had died and the new owner did not want to keep you there. And that's how Dr. Johnson came into our lives. This is a picture of Dr. Johnson. He was a bookstore cat. He has a, an official doctorate because he slept on all those books and he learned by osmosis. Um, we brought him out to our rural home out in Olala, Washington, where he was able to run free. Uh, he used to love to run through the, the tall grass, which my father nicknamed Johnson Grass. You'd see the, the grass wave as he would scoot through it. And in the end, he adopted me out of all the family members. He would sleep next to me at night. We would be like this. I'd have my arm out above the sheet, and he would put his head right in my palm, and we would just sleep for hours. Um, he also adopted a pillow in my room that ended up being just completely covered in yellow fur, which is an accomplishment because it was dark green originally. He was very gentlemanly, but he was also a little clown. He wasn't the smartest cat. Sometimes when my door was closed, he would come up and he would start kicking it or batting on it or scratching on it. And I would go open the door and say, what, Johnson? And he would say to me, and run off. And I really miss you. Um, you brought so much happiness in my life. I never had a best friend like you. Uh, even my other cats that I've had have not meant so much to me. Um, and so that day, that evening, when I heard you let out a blood-curdling scream, and I ran outside throwing on somebody's shoes that weren't mine, and I saw you hanging there in the coyote's jaws, I just, I didn't even think, I just ran and I yelled, and I made the I scared the coyote, he dropped you, and I carried you inside calling for dad. And I didn't know if anything could be done, and it turns out he had broken your neck. And so the next morning we had to have you put down, and the vet clinic was nice enough to wrap up your body in a hand crocheted blanket, which I still have, and we buried you in the yard next to your brother and sister pets under a tree that now flowers. And so I love you, Dr. Johnson, and I miss spending time in the summer and the spring with you. I miss you.